Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the element.outerHTML property in the JavaScript document object model. So, the outer HTML property allows you to set and get the outer HTML string of an element. This includes, well this, this means you're going to get something like that. So the actual tag, the ID, all that stuff the content and also the closing tag. So to explain this, I'm going to get a constant reference to this h2 title element. So I'm going to say, okay, inside here, const h2 title equals document dot get element by id and pass in title right there. All right. So now I'm going to get the outer HTML. So I'm going to console.log the h2 title dot outer html property. So if I save this one, I should see that right there literally what's highlighted in the console. So I'll save this one, refresh the browser, and we'll see how we go. Refresh, and we get that right there. Okay. Now we can also use this uh, this property in a writing manner. So we can actually write and change the outer HTML. So back inside the code editor, I'm going to also change the outer HTML. But to demonstrate this, I'm going to make a new CSS rule for every div tag. All right. And we're going to change the h2 to a div to see this effect. So I'm going to say div. All right. Inside here, we'll add some padding. Let's just say about 20 pixels and change the background color to red. Maybe also some bold fonts and a text color of white. All right. So now down here, I'm going to change the value of the outer HTML. So I'm going to say h2 title dot outer HTML equals now inside here, you provide an HTML string. So I'm going to say, okay, div, just like that. I'll copy this text that's inside here, okay, and paste it right there. And also put something like, um, I've been changed with an exclamation mark, boom. Okay, so now saving this one and refreshing the browser, we should see a result. There we are. So we get this div, the the styles have been applied, all that stuff, and we have um, the div in the actual DOM tree, and the h2 is now gone. Now, of course, you can include anything you want here. I can say, okay, id equals DOM, and then add some DOM, you know, styles. Hashtag DOM. And we'll say something like font style italic. Hold on, font style italic. All right, save this one, refresh, and we get boom italic text. All right, so that is how you can use the element.outerHTML property in the JavaScript document object model. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.